Greetings everybody. Right, now most of the YouTube videos um, in the past I've done complaints about Virgin Media etc. But this time I want to do a, a positive and a compliment. No, I'm not to Virgin Media because I'm not with them because they were terrible. Um, to Sky. Now, what was happening was um, pretty much between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock every evening for three days the internet would go off the reboot, uh, the router would reboot, and you'd end up with a flashing, you know, the flashing light, and it disconnected. And then it would reconnect after maybe I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, maybe something like that. But it was very frustrating. So I did the the test on the thing where it says you know the line test etc., and it said it found a problem, but it said it couldn't do anything while I was on the phone. So I had to ring using the mobile. So I phoned them using the mobile, and was on the phone for quite a long time. And to cut a long story short. They identified a problem that wasn't actually with the house or anything. Um, there wasn't anything wrong with the router, which I was originally thinking it might be. They said it was something at their end. So they said, we've got an, en an engineer to go out to it, to have a look at it. And they said that an engineer would ring me. Now, while I didn't get a phone call from an engineer as such, I did get a message a couple of days later, a text message saying that the fault had been rectified. And so far, so good. After the, I my phone call, um, I mean, it was a bit of a nightmare, not not so much of a nightmare, but a bit of a nuisance that I had to unplug the, the main Sky box, um, well, the Sky Cube box, unplug the router, or re reset the router completely, you know, from scratch, and also unplug the, the, the Sky Cube, well, the Sky Mini box that we got upstairs. So I had to unplug the power to one, and then go downstairs, plug the, the one to the Sky Cube back in again, um, then do the very necessary whatever there, Rechange the I redid the password on the Sky router, which is very you know, I would highly recommend that as soon as you get the router, immediately change the password from the default one because as a security issue, you know, if anybody sees it on the internet, they could theoretically get into it by using the default username and password, which I'll not mention here anyway, because if you're a Sky customer, you should already know that anyway. Um and then I had to then go upstairs and plug the Sky Q router and then you know connect it well, we connect it back to the Sky Cube, uh, so the Sky router, and to do that, I had to run all the way back downstairs, press the the button on there for the the, the WPS, and then run back upstairs, and then lo and build everything was okay. So minor inconvenience for what you know to get it sorted. So I was well happy, well pleased. So Sky, you get a big thumbs up from me. Thanks ever so much. And especially in this time when it was very difficult, the lady was working from home as well and she was brilliant, really friendly, really helpful. Um, and she's been going to, she'll be working in Sheffield office very soon. So good luck with that. Hopefully everything goes okay. I don't even know if you get to see this video, but if you do, um, I was really pleased how you were, you know, how you worked and everything you did. So thanks ever so much. Now I had a conversation with someone the other day on um, sort of Facebook, YouTube, whatever. And they said about using the sort of the router that comes with um, the internet provider. Now they're saying, you, you shouldn't use that, you should use your own. The only problem I can see with that, and I've got, so I can see positives and negatives for both ends. The positive I can see with using your own is that you know kind of you what you're doing, theoretically, you should know what you're buying and stuff. So you, you then configure it how you want and possibly they might be better than what the, your internet provider provides you with. The only negative I can see, though, with using that is that if you have any issues, any problems, they could the, the internet provider could turn around and say, maybe, yes, but we can't support the, the actual modem. You know, we can't support your router. So you would need to go to the manufacturers of the router to find out if there's any issues. So they could deny any problems at all, you know, with any problems that you're having, if you're not. Like, so if your internet's going down a lot, they could say it could be the fault with the router because you're not using their router. And also, they probably won't be able to check it. Whereas if you're using their own router, they can sort of pinpoint potentially any problems or issues that you're having and sort it out for you. Now, is that right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments or whatever. Thank you. Greetings. Right. Now, the video that I was doing was going to be a, if you like, called, um, you know, a plus point for Sky. But it's changed a little bit now. Two things really. One thing they, we thought they'd, they'd solve the problem with the uh, the Wi-Fi or the internet disconnecting, but last night it went off. Now check with my son who was upstairs and he says, "Yeah, it was like doing the egg timer thing, like waiting to load a YouTube video." 
So I checked on the logs and I found that it disconnected twice. So the, the v, VDSL tool link or whatever it was down. Um, and that was within, tw well, twice, one, one um, about 20 past eight, I think it was. Then the next one was about quarter to 10 or 20 to 10. So I thought, well, that's a bit strange. This was obviously in the evening, you know. So as I was on the phone to the lady, I thought, well, I'll just go and check if there's any pause while she was trying to explain to me what, why it's cut, you know, what's happened with it. She's all oh, like, it's it's the big things, the things in your house that's connected to it, you know, your phones, that type of stuff, your consoles, laptop, or what, you know, things like that. And I thought, I said, but it doesn't explain why it's done it again, because I said it was, it's been fine. I've had no disconnections since the last identification of an issue with uh, the, uh, you know, with the sky problems. And well, that's the sky problems. It was there and not out. There was nothing to do with the router. There was nothing at all to the cables in our house or anything like that. Uh, I did run a, a line test, which came back fine. So it's showing there wasn't any problems. So I suppose if that's what they're doing, they're just checking the system and explaining what can cause issues with Wi-Fi. And I said, well, that's, I totally understand that. I said, but why is it showing that it disconnected yesterday twice? And she kept repeating about the, the wireless connections that sometimes show something which part of me makes me wonder whether she actually knew what she was talking about or whether she was trying to bamboozle me with science because I said, it doesn't make sense, the fact that it was working okay. I said, then it's gone off again yesterday. She says something about the channels, you know, so I might have a look into the channels. Um, however, the, the, the one of my concerns is this. Kind of, there we go. Going up. So, according to, according to this uh, letter... Sky Broadband Superfast, which is what I've got, is going up by a pound, which, you know, I think fair enough. But I've subscribed to, to another, tw uh, something like 18 months or whatever, tw and I don't think they should have increased in the price within that thing, so I'm going to give them a call later. But the thing that's peed me off, if you like, more than anything, or annoyed me more than anything, Sky TV has gone up. Sky Signature by a pound. Sky HD, another pound. And Sky Multiscreen has gone up by another pound. So you're talking an extra three pound for the TV, which we're already paying about sixty odd quid for as a bundle for everything anyway. So it's going to go up by four pound. Hmm. Um, now I'm not exactly. And it says if you recently joined Sky TV or signed up to a new minimum term, the price change won't apply to those services for the first sixty days. Wow, the first sixty days. Ooh. That, I just find it unbelievable that these prices are going up like they are. Um, I mean, yeah, and I says I couldn't understand that once you're watching TV and stuff. But what we're finding that we're watching on the television now, anyway, is a lot of the old stuff that we've used to watch before. So, yeah, Netflix is a nice idea and everything else. But when you consider the old things that we're getting, it's just rubbish. You know, I think it's a bit. Of, I mean, I'm glad that we don't pay. We don't pay for Sky sports and we don't pay for the um the movies either um and i think anybody that does i mean somebody was with the um, Vir like on my youtube channel that on here somebody commented on my video saying that they're with virgin and they were considering going to sky but virgin offered them a better deal because it was cheaper and i think it's something like 10 pounds cheaper a month but they had the whole lot you know they had the sky movies the uh, the sports whatever kids things and everything you know so they're the full package um, and I mean, I mean, maybe it's me being, I don't know, but I'm just thinking it, it annoys me when things go up in price, you know. I suppose you, you, your wages should go up anyway, but it's ultimately £4 a month on top of paying £60, which is before I, you know, when we first re-signed up with Sky, we were paying 40, I think it was £41 a month. And that was with the, the same broadband, same phone thing, um, we did weren't getting HD, the ultra HD stuff for the Netflix, and we weren't get, obviously we didn't pay for the HD th channels because you've got to have the high HD channels as well to have the full Netflix for four users etc etc. But it just goes against my grain the fact that it's costing so much and we're not really getting. I don't consider it really, you know, worth paying all that money for for the channels. I mean, they say you get box sets, but. Half the box sets on there is rubbish anyway. You know, it's things that we don't watch. Um, so I think I'm going to consider consent to the book. Cancel the cancel all the Sky TV, cancel the Sky TV or whatever. I'll just put it to the basic. Get rid of the extra one upstairs because we've got um, Netflix, we've got a Netflix thing 
anyway on a Amazon uh, Fire TV stick, you know, little, little stick thing. That we've got one of them upstairs, so we can use that if we want to watch anything anyway. Um, so I, I just think it's a bit of a rip off to be honest with the increase. It was in the news about it as well, but I'm thinking, well, I'll see what happens, see how it goes. I mean, the date of this letter is the 20, 27th of February, and today is the 2nd of March, so it's taken three, well, yeah, about three days to arrive. So can't say as I'm impressed, guy. You know, I, I think I understand that people, you know, they've got maybe costs going up, you know, maybe wage increases, that type of thing. But if it, like, as like I said to the lady, I said, if you want a quid, maybe a couple of pounds, fair enough. But to go up for four pounds like that, it's just, you know, and people say, well, it's only four pounds, but you work it out in a year, that's £48 a year. You know, what can you, you can, I mean, I've got to buy a new, to a new tyre for my car today, and that, uh, yesterday, so and that cost me £51. So it's, a new, it's basically a, a tyre for my car, you know, keep, to keep my car running. Which is, a, you know, especially in this day and age, when trying to save money and stuff, it all adds up, doesn't it? Anyhow, let me know what you think about it, whether you think it's a good deal or not. Because like I say, I, I just think it's a bit of a rip-off, to be fair. But how much is, if, has your bill's gone up? You know, have your bill's gone up quite a lot? And yes, I'm going to have a shave in a bit. That's why I'm doing that. I need a shave. I need to shave my hair and all. Because, uh, yeah, you can see my little, my little tuft of hair on the top there. My little, uh, but, right. Yeah, so like I say, if you like this video, you know, comment on it. If anything you didn't like or you think maybe I could have done better, let me know and I, I appreciate any comments, you know, and I'll reply back. Take care, everybody, and thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and stay safe and take care. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.